Interception is when a piece of intestine prolapses into the lumen of an immediately adjoining portion of intestine. This is an ileocecal interception. On the left is the congested ileum, and on the right is the cecum into which it has been forced. In front of it, of course, is the appendix. The underlying mechanism is disturbance of normal peristalsis by a lesion on or in the bowel. This forces the proximal bowel into the adjacent distal bowel by peristalsis together with the attached mesentery. This is a longitudinal section of an intersusception of the small bowel. The pale lesion at the right side of the picture is a neurofibroma that has caused the proximal section of small bowel to become invaginated into the adjacent distal area in the same way that an extended telescope collapses into itself. Symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting and rectal bleeding and a lump may be felt in the abdomen on palpation. One thing that may cause a bit of confusion is the nomenclature. The intersusceptum is the piece of intestine that has invaginated into another portion and the intersuscipiens is the piece of intestine containing the invaginated portion. So in this picture you can see the intersusceptum on the left and the intersuscipiens on the right. This intersusception just involves the small bowel, so this is an enteric or ileo-ileal intersusception. Intersusception occurs more frequently in children than adults, and mainly in children in the first five years of life, 50% of them occurring before the age of one, with an incidence of around 1 in 1,900 babies below the age of one year. Common causes of intersusception include polyps, lipomas, gastrointestinal stromal tumours, etc., together with foreign bodies, Meckel's diverticulum, intramural haemorrhage from conditions such as Henoch-Schönlein purpura and endometriosis. Lymphoid hyperplasia is an important cause in children and also may cause intersusception in AIDS patients. Here is an example of an intersusception caused by a lipoma that has been bisected. Complications of intersusception include obstruction and infarction due to trapping of the mesenteric blood vessels. Intersusception may of course be fatal if it is not treated early enough. Some cases of intersusception may be successfully treated with an air enema or barium enema. If that is not possible, surgery may be required to manually reduce the intersusception or resect it if reduction is not possible or if the bowel has become infarcted.